The early 2000s were exciting times. A new millennium meant a fresh start for many, and motorsport was no exception. New Le Mans rules introduced in 1999 saw the dawn of the LMP, Le Mans prototype cars, and it became clear very fast which company was ahead. But that didn't deter a certain plucky challenger. This is the battle for Le Mans, Audi R8 LMP versus Bentley Speed 8. Our story begins in 1997. Factory teams, including BMW, Mercedes-Benz, Porsche, Toyota, and more, were all competing in the 24 hours of Le Mans. It's safe to say that the competition was popular amongst manufacturers and served as a great way to settle rivalries, and the advertising potential is, of course, a good way of selling it to their respective boards. Audi was notably not involved in the competition, but Audi sport boss Wolfgang Ulrich began to explore options for perhaps making a bid. The American Le Mans series was in the works, and Ulrich decided that with the American market on the table too, he could make it make sense for Audi to compete. The company announced that they were going to be entering cars in 1998 and 1999. For this story, the 1998 and 1999 season cars aren't too important, other than the fact that after 1999, Audi's competition began to drop like flies. Mercedes retired from GT racing to focus on touring cars and Formula One, closely followed by both BMW and Toyota. It looked as though Audi's main rival going into the new millennium was going to be Porsche, but then they dropped out too, turning the progress they had already made on their LMP project into the Carrera GT road car instead. Audi held firm and chose to continue development regardless. The car they came up with would be remembered as one of the most dominant racing cars in the history of motorsport, the Audi R8 LMP900. Built first for the 2000 season, this car was a machine. Built around a carbon fiber and aluminium honeycomb chassis, and powered by a twin turbocharged 3.6 litre V8, the R8 was built to win, and win it certainly did. Its first outing at Le Mans in 2000 saw the R8 take first, second, and third place, truly wiping the floor with the competition. 2001 was a similar story, taking first and second, only losing out on third due to a retirement, but restoring the full podium in 2002 with yet another 1-2-3 finish. Audi looked unstoppable. In 2001, Bentley had returned to Le Mans for the first time in 68 years with its EXP Speed 8 LMGTP car. After the 2000 rule changes that introduced the LMP900 class, which the R8 competed in, and the LMP675 class populated by the likes of MG, Bentley became the sole manufacturer still competing in LMGTP, which makes their first-in-class finishing positions in both 2001 and 2002 rather unsurprising. Despite performing well in their class, the Speed 8s only managed third place overall in 2001 and fourth in 2002. 2003, however, felt different. The LMGTP and the LM900 classes were only meaningfully different due to the former having closed cockpits. From a performance standpoint, there was no good reason that Bentley shouldn't be competitive against Audi with the Speed 8, which boasted a 4-litre twin-turbocharged V8 and a carbon fibre aluminium honeycomb chassis. Team Bentley managed to beat the unbeatable, finishing first and second not only in their class of two, but overall, snatching the crown from Audi in spectacular fashion. Audi would go on to win again with the R8 in both 2004 and again in 2005. Those of you with keen minds, however, might be a little suspicious of this whole tale. Aren't Audi and Bentley both Volkswagen Group companies? Well, yes. In fact, the EXP Speed 8 was based on a closed cabin design variant of the Audi R8C from 1999, and in fact used very similar chassis and drivetrain to the Audi R8 it was fighting against for the Le Mans title. Audi sport team Jost, who had raced all the winning R8 cars in 2000, 01, and 02, didn't run in 03 partly because they were helping Team Bentley redesign their car. 
The Bentley that raced in 2003 was very different to the 01 and 02 cars, resulting in a completely different aerodynamic approach, totally reworked gearbox, and larger displacement engine when compared to the R8. After 2003, however, Bentley chose not to run the Speed 8 again, whereas the Audi R8 went on to become one of the most successful and celebrated race cars in history. So let's compare these two Le Mans legends. Because of how similar the EXP Speed 8 was under the skin to the R8, we will be using the 2003 Speed 8 for performance figures and the like. Starting with power, the 2003 R8 had been restricted to 550 brake horsepower, down from the monstrous 610 in the previous years. The Speed 8 had no such restrictions, racing with its full 600 brake horsepower. The Audi R8 ran weighing 950 kilos, while the much more substantial looking Bentley ran with a weight of just 900 kilograms. The Audi was recorded hitting 210 miles per hour during a Le Mans practice session, while the Bentley could hit 215, though if modified with a low downforce in mind, the R8 was capable of just edging out the Speed 8 at 217 miles per hour. Racing success, however, is a far better measure of a car than just raw numbers, and the Bentley has it rough in that regard. The Speed 8 competed in four races, technically achieving class wins in all of them, uh, but we're not going to count that, and so it gets a total race win tally of 1 and a win rate of 25%. The Audi R8, on the other hand, was prolific, competing in 79 races and winning an incredible 63 of them for an impressive win rate of just under 80%. So, the data says that by all reasonable measure, the Audi R8 LMP wins this fight. But I want to know what you think in the comments down below. Check out the last battle, it should be on your screen now. And a big thank you to Tyrion GT Posting for providing the Gran Turismo footage used in this video. His channel will be linked in the description below and should be on your screen now. Thanks for watching, and until next time, goodbye.